from is Anthony Conti, a Chief Financial Officer of the EPAM company, who will share his experience and the experience of his company of working in Ukraine. You're very welcome, sir. Thank you, Tatiana, and uh, thank you for having me today. I'm uh, honored that you invited us and uh, want to hear from EPAM Systems. Uh, just to tell everybody a little bit about EPAM so you have some ideas to what we, uh, what we do, uh, we're a leader in the software product development space, uh, which is a industry where we work with our customers uh, to help them develop the products that they are turning around and selling to their end customers. So we're developing a lot of you know, very high-end custom development applications for our customers. And we are firmly rooted in our delivery centers across Central and Eastern Europe. We have about 10,000 uh, engineers, IT professionals uh, globally across uh, 17 different countries on, in uh, four different continents. So we're pretty globally uh, diversified. We have about 700 million is our target for revenues for this year, so we've been growing quite nicely. Uh, we are very firmly in you know, the outsourcing space, but within a smaller segment, which is that product development support. It's roughly, according to leading uh, industry experts, about a $14 billion uh, industry that we're operating within. And uh, so there's a lot of headroom for us sitting at about 700 million. We see a lot of potential growth for the system, for EPAM systems into the future. Uh, we started about 20 years ago, and the founding of the company was uh, two partners, one partner here in the United States, one partner in Belarus, actually, and that is where the company grew up, and over those 20 years, we've continued to expand and grow. Uh, we are now a U.S. public company. We're listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and in 2005, we entered the Ukraine, and from 2005 to today, Ukraine has been probably our fastest growing, or I shouldn't say has been, uh, it was our fastest growing uh, region for many years. As of today, we have uh, just over 3,000 employees in the Ukraine, about 2,700 of them are IT professional engineers working on a lot of these cutting edge applications uh, for our customers. We are located in five different cities across, you know, spread across Ukraine, and our employees are pretty spread around there. Uh, we continue to grow. Uh, even in 2014, we added about 5% in the first quarter of the year to our headcount in Ukraine. So we remain you know, committed to the region and we continue to grow quite aggressively in, in the locations. Uh, our 2,700 Ukrainian IT professionals are products of some of the, you know, the top-notch universities from you know, the technical uh, universities within Ukraine. And we do a lot of work in the Ukraine with those universities. We have a lot of programs, we run a lot of student labs, uh, and we do a lot of work uh, you know, around helping to build the curriculum and helping to build the, you know, the educational capabilities of these people coming out. Uh, and then hopefully they are coming to work with us or one of the other fine you know, employers within the Ukraine in the IT industry. So that, that's a very big piece of, uh, of what, we, what we get from being in Ukraine is that high caliber talent that comes out of those you know, very quality top-notch institutions. Uh, most of the people we are hiring have what is the equivalent in the U.S. of a master's degree in some of these technical capabilities. So that's, that's very valuable to us, as you would imagine, when you're developing you know, these, these very cutting-edge technologies, when you're dealing with you know, technologies in, in the cloud or you know, the mobility applications or you know, the big data or business intelligence. These applications are you know, very cutting-edge, very new to the industry. It's very emerging technology-type work. So we need that you know, very top-notch engineer that can really help us kind of solve the problems for our customers because that's really what we're doing. Um, and, and some of the, the things that the people in Ukraine are working on are very, very interesting. So you know, a lot of you probably are using products that you know, some folks in the Ukraine have, to, have developed, whether it's a, an app on your, your iPhone, you know, whether it's an internet search engine or some functionality that comes across from the internet search engines whether it's an e-commerce site that you use to buy those holiday gifts for your family and friends. A lot of that is exactly what we're building for a lot of very large multinational companies. We, uh, we do a lot of service to both the U.S. and Europe. I would say it's about a 50-50 split for the Ukrainian uh, population of where they're working. And they're working in industries such as you know, banking and financial services, so two, two of our top clients, you know, UBS and Barclays. 
do a lot of work with both of those banks out of the Ukraine, developing a lot of their products and, and services. Uh, we work heavily in the uh, software vendor market. So historically, some of our key customers have been SAP, Oracle, and, and other big software vendors. We also then do a lot of work in the travel and consumer space. Uh, we've developed a lot of uh, travel booking sites, a lot of loyalty programs. So if you have uh, loyalty programs for your favorite hotels or your airlines, odds are EPAM engineers and you know, in a good chance that you know, some Ukrainian engineers were behind that site that you use on a very regular basis. Uh, then we also work in uh, business information and media and a couple other smaller verticals that we've really you know, started to penetrate and we do a lot of interesting stuff. And all of that is really uh, due, and our success is very much due to the quality and talent that we get from you know, the, the Ukrainian institutions and, and others in obviously Eastern Europe because we have other uh, representatives in, the, in that region. So, uh, as far as Ukraine goes, uh, you know, we've, we've been you know, very supportive of our employees in that region and they've been very supportive of us. I, I have to say the, the quality of the person that we're getting uh, to work for us has been outstanding. Our productivity measures have been off the charts in Ukraine. Our attendance has been off the charts. Even you know, the first you know, quarter of this year, we have actually seen higher attendance and higher productivity coming from our Ukrainian resources uh, than this same time last year. That's a, that's a strong you know, testament to the integrity of the people that we are getting within the Ukrainian market. It's also why we as a company remain very committed to the region, We're committed to Ukraine, as a source of our talent and, and as a you know, continuing foundation of building our company. So, you know, having said that, you know, we're, we're very hopeful that all the events of the past six months are now firmly behind us. The elections hopefully are setting Ukraine on a nice path for future peace and prosperity that's well, well deserved and, and, you know, welcome benefit. And from our standpoint, it's not just us as a company wishing that, but you know, we obviously have a lot of colleagues, a lot of friends, and their families live and work in Ukraine. So we are very much committed to the region, very much committed to those people and ensuring that they continue to prosper and have a nice, you know, healthy and happy future with us at EPAM Systems. So I will be here in the reception, you know, talking. If you have any questions uh, about EPAM Systems or anything else that we do uh, or our activities in the region, please feel free to come by. I'm happy to speak to you. And I, again, thank you very much for having us. Uh, EPAM Systems is uh, very happy to be here and represent, and you know, thank you very much for having myself. Thank you.